A growing number of iconic brands are pulling their ad dollars from Facebook to take a stand against what they say is Facebook's failure to stop hate speech. Julia Borston joins us right now. She has more on this story. Uh, Julia, good morning. Good morning to you, Becky. Well, Facebook shares plummeted more than 8% Friday. Shares are trading down about 3.5% pre-market as what started as a group of smaller companies organized by the NAACP and Anti-Defamation League calling on Facebook to crack down on racism and hate speech has grown into a boycott of Facebook by major brands. Starbucks, which was Facebook's sixth biggest advertiser in the U.S. last year, spending an estimated $95 million, according to Pathmatics, joined Honda, Coca-Cola, Unilever, Verizon and smaller brands who said they would pause advertising on Facebook. Now, over 150 companies have committed to a one month pause as part of the official boycott, others leaving the pause open ended. While Procter and Gamble is just saying that it's reviewing hate speech on all the platforms and reconsidering all of its ad spending. Now, analysts saying that more brands could influence others to join. Some of these big brands could influence others to join, that it ex could expand internationally. And Bank of America is saying that they expect Facebook to tighten restrictions on hate speech and possibly introduce some new fact-checking policies. Now, the growing number of advertisers participating indicates that Zuckerberg's latest efforts didn't go far enough. Friday, he announced Facebook is cracking down on hate speech in ads and will label incendiary posts by politicians. Now, as brands who are under economic pressure look to cut their overall spending, one question is whether they can realize that maybe they don't need the social platform as much as they thought that they did. Becky? Hey, Julia, just in terms of the economic impact of this, what's the guess at what it could be now that we've seen some of these big brands that are saying this? How, how permanent do you think it might be? And, and how difficult will it be for Facebook to address some of these issues and, and try and win those customers back? Well, look, right now they're trying to address those issues. They're, they're trying to figure out how to both highlight the work that they've already done and, and which changes they feel like are appropriate to make just making it look like they're caving to pressure. In terms of the economic impact, I mean, I mentioned Starbucks has about $100 million in spending um, on Facebook last year. Now, that's just the U.S. number. The economic impact will be dramatically more if these uh, spending pauses, if these boycotts become a global thing. Right now, the vast majority of them are only pausing spending in the U.S. So we're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars in economic impact if these boycotts are continued through the end of the year. Whether it becomes a much bigger problem for Facebook, which had $70 billion in ad revenue last year, that will really hinge on whether or not these boycotts go global and whether they, they last for longer than just a couple of weeks. So it's all a matter of timing and, and scope.